Hey, it's Jess with the Bourbon Betters. We're here for another whiskey review. Earphones a little bit. Hey, freak. Pay me a masterpiece. Yeah. Today we are going to review Traveler. Blend number 40. It is the Chris Stapleton Buffalo Trace Marriage. It is good whiskey, it's like a good song. It requires no explanation. One taste should tell you everything you need to know. No one has to tell you how to feel about it. You simply settle in and enjoy. For the first of its kind collaboration for Buffalo Trace Distillery brings together the collective ancestry or artistry of Chris Stapleton and master distiller Harlan Wheatley. Blend number 40 is the careful Irrigated result of countless hours of testing and tasting. It is a completely unique combination of whiskeys from award-winning distilleries and exactly what you'd expect, a premium whiskey that speaks for itself. It is 90 proof, 45% alcohol, and it is from Buffalo Trace. It is um, something we're gonna get into and try out today. It is the first time I've seen this bottle in a liquor store it was yesterday I uh, I've seen the shelf tag for it but it's always been out of stock so this is the first time I've actually seen it and been able to purchase it so I went ahead and purchased it it is a good looking bottle it's good looking alcohol it was I think it was $30 might have been 32 or 33 uh, it wasn't crazy expensive or anything like that it's just well sought out like people seek out this bottle because it was hard to get when it first came out because everybody was buying them up but it's not super expensive or anything um yet we'll see how that goes hey guys uh, we want to thank you for watching and uh checking out the channel uh if we take any comments down below on any bourbons or uh any games you want to hear about uh the bets or anything like that and uh, just you know. yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. And once again, we just want to thank you for watching. So let's get into it. Start off with the nose on it. Vanilla, for sure. Vanilla. Maybe some caramel, but it vanilla forward for sure. Rounded out with some caramel and just a, maybe a touch of oak uh, is definitely what I'm getting there. Yeah, definitely a touch of oak. There's something else there. I smell like a like a cherry, maybe like a sour cherry. Um, not a medicinal cherry, but like a. Like sour cherries you put in like old fashioned, like sour cherries. Okay, yeah, all right, let's see how it tastes. Wow, yeah, definitely I get cherry. I get sweet, uh, toasted oak maybe, or maybe, might be nut, just not peanut, but like, Hmm. Sweet. There's spice there. Um, but I'm getting, I get cherry in the beginning of it, like it cherry up front and then it, it's very sweet and then like vanilla sweet. And then it, I get a little bit of toast oat maybe. And then I'm not sure what the toast it is. It might be oak. It might be peanut or nut, uh, but it's toasted something and you know, like a, maybe a caramel there, but it, it's cherry forward to me. Um, 
it's it's not thin, but it could be thicker, if that makes sense with, when it comes to mouthfeel. This one does not make me salivate. It's not begging for more, but it's not unpleasant either. It's got a nice finish. Like, it's medium finished, it's, 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 but it's a full finish. Um, it's not overly spicy, it's not overly sweet, it's, hey, this drink is done, you know. Um, when it comes to nose, uh, I enjoyed that nose, I'm going to give it an 8. Um, and then you go to mouthfeel, like I said it wasn't unpleasant, but it wasn't anything spectacular about it, so we'll go 5 on mouthfeel. Taste to me, I'm going to give it an 8 because I enjoyed the cherry forward of it with the hint of oakiness, but the very sweet, very sweet underlying and in the toasted toastiness you get of it. So I'm going to give the taste an 8 and the finish is, I mean, it's just an average finish to me. It's full, but it's, it's not very interesting. It doesn't take you on an adventure. It just kind of says boom, um, but it takes a minute to get to the boom. So probably the, the finish, I'd probably give a 7. Um, but I was I was glad to try this bottle out. Uh, I've been looking for it, and I've been looking forward to it. It's just another thing from Buffalo Trace that they put out, and they're always putting out quality whiskey. Um, this is definitely, to me, one of the celebrity whiskeys that's worth the, the buy. You know, I, I enjoy Long Branch. I, I do enjoy this as well. It's That's actually pretty good. I can add that into the rotation. And at $35, it's not going to break the bank. It's something you could use for a daily sipper. Um, you, you wouldn't be upset mixing it with something. Um, and you wouldn't be upset showing it to your friends because it is a very sought out bottle because it is, uh, you know, a Chris Stapleton Buffalo Trace marriage. So anyway, just for the bourbon betters, y'all have a good one. The real few and far between, few and far between. All alone in the world so cold. I know some say I'll never learn. Say I never learn I spit fire and I bleed whiskey Won't you please just let me burn Cause I'll burn I it down I am staying with a pain A man of heart so I never regain Everything's changed a lot